Hello again. Um, so I have uh, been having tr problems with uh, one of the cars that I uh, that I own. It's actually my wife's car. It's a 2001 GMC Jimmy. And um, it turns out that um, since the day I got it, it's always had a little bit of a clunk in the rear end. And I figured, well, it may be U joints and maybe the differential, but I'll hold out and see what's going on. It does. It's not leaking any fluid. Everything's perfectly dry. So this, I'm, I'm gonna uh, illustrate for you guys what uh, kind of how to figure out whether your differential is bad and things to look for, and what happens when your differential does go bad. So you guys can learn kind of from my misfortune here. So this is an this is an R180 differential from a Datsun, um, from this Datsun actually right here that I'm working on in the garage. That's an R180 from this. Um, but I popped my cover off, and as soon as I popped the cover off from the um, Jimmy, I realized something was wrong. And I realized something was wrong because the fluid that came out looked like someone had um, shaken sparkles, metal flake sparkles in it. And uh, this is what it looks like. So. Yes. So this is the differential cover. And as you can see, there is not only um, there's not only very very fine metal shavings in it, which is what this is. There's also big flecks of metal in it, like that. So looks like a night sky. That's not what you want to see. So I'll just show you here. This right here. This is all this is all fine metal shavings that have come off of the uh, that have come off of um, the gears. It's really fun to play with while you have it out. Not so fun when you realize what it is. So, um, so that's what that stuff is. And this is just a magnet that keeps it all there. So metal shavings, as they come off, they don't do more damage than they really have to and helps preserve some of the, uh, helps preserve the life of the, of the uh, differential, in this case, too much shot. So, so I'm going to go take, go ahead and let's walk over to the, uh, to the SUV to show you guys Kind of what I'm talking about here. It's about midnight, so I'm working in the dark. That's okay. Okay. All right. Crawl in here. Okay, let's take a look here. So here we are. Here's the differential. Let me go ahead and move my light so you guys can see better. There we go. Shed some light on it. So, here's the differential and what's inside. So you have, I believe this is the planetary gear. In the back and the bottom here, uh, it's very hard to see, but that's your, that's your uh, pinion. And let me show you what happens when I rotate this. Okay, I'm trying to hold it very still. You can hear the whole thing move, and look at how it jumps up. See how the whole thing jumps up? This differential is completely shot. The other you can thing you can look for is right here where the teeth are, there's a lot of times grooves on them. And um, those grooves are kind of an indicator of wear, kind of like, uh, kind of like um, those little, uh, oh, those little tire things that stick off the edge of your tire. It's kind of the same in principle. And look at the surface here. Look at how worn those surfaces are. See, you can see, um, you can see it's a very shiny, very smooth, um, and uh, you can actually see wear marks and pitting in it too. So that's the th those are things you're looking for. I'd like to draw your attention now to the um, to the bearings. So that's one of the bearings. Um, I can't remember what it's called, I'm not sure if it's the race bearing or not, but it's one of the bearings, it's four, you have two of them, one on either side, one on this side for with this axle, and one on the other side for this axle, right there. Now watch what happens when I lift up, when I, when I, when I move the tire, okay, I found my camera to focus here, come on, there we go, okay, now watch that bearing, see that whole, that whole bearing, it doesn't just, it doesn't just turn around, it actually, lift, the whole thing lifts up. No, I know I'm a little shaky here, and it's dark, and it's uh, late, so I'm definitely shaky now. But um, yeah, so that's that's a problem. You don't want that to lift up. Um, this whole thing is uh, 
this whole thing's pretty much gone. And my symptoms were when I was turning corners, I would hear a little bit of a tink, 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 tink sound um, uh, when I was turning tight corners. And it was getting, it, it just started like a couple days ago and I immediately stopped driving and I tried it out a couple times to, figure out, to see if I could figure out what was going on. I was like, you know what? I bet it's the rear diff. I better take it down and tear it down and see what's going on. So now I gotta decide whether I'm gonna do a junkyard axle and take the whole thing or whether I'm gonna just grab a uh, just grab a new gear set and then redo all the um, bearings and stuff. I'm not really excited about either one of those. So it's a huge pain in the butt, guys. So take care of your differential. Th this differential has never been opened up, never. And I can tell because of uh, how much fluid is in there and the fact that there's the stock, um, there's the stock, um, gasket in here. So, so yes, that sucks, but it happens. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and get to them. But in general, that is a blown rear diff, not even a blown rear diff, it's just a bad rear differential and uh, um, and yeah, and what happens when you uh, when you don't change your differential oil. So learn from my mistakes and hopefully you guys can uh, take good care of your, trans or your differential and get a better life out of there than I did. So with that said, take care and have a good evening you guys.